Okay, so this video series, we're going to cover Katana's shop floor application. Now the shop floor control application is an application that you would provide to your manufacturing floor team where they can use a dedicated device like a phone or a tablet at a workstation or within their own possession to receive the tasks that they have to perform, which you as perhaps a production scheduler or production planner or production manager would assign after you define what your schedule is going to look like. Your team will be fed the tasks that they have to do within the order of the schedule and the order of operations for which they have to be performed in order to make the products that you sell. Now, might be asking the question, well, what's the advantage of a dedicated application that your team members can log into? Well, good question. There's a couple of very important points that depend on the size of your business and how many employees you have on your manufacturing floor that really account toward this particular value. Firstly, most manufacturing companies, when they get started, probably have a very typical paper process or are using maybe an online spreadsheet that gets filled in once everything's done. Um, or you just have a handful of team members that are all working together that it's not super necessary to have something complicated. But as you start to grow, you might be employing tools that best help you run more efficiently. Uh, from my own personal experience with our customers, I've seen uh, companies use things like Kanban boards or task management tools. And these are really great because you can take, let's say, manufacturing order, and whenever you're ready to push it to production, you press a button and it creates a task on a Kanban board where it's to do, doing, and done. These work really great, but there's a couple of caveats that you have to be aware of after using those. They're really mainly designed to just update the status of an order for a very chronologically based manufacturing queue. And they don't provide the flexibility that you would otherwise need in real life scenarios when you have a higher volume of manufacturing orders and you need to retain flexibility in order to better provide a customer's experience for your clients that you sell to. So the disadvantage also for Kanban boards is that even though they might be able to track time, they don't have any scalable way to attribute it to specific products or specific workstations or processes. They don't have really even an ability to track your ingredients that are consumed or components that are used on the factory floor at the time of uh, consumption. This makes your stock tracking inaccurate until after the fact when you make some manual adjustments. So there really are a lot of disadvantages. Now the advantage to this type of system is the way it works is uh, inside of Katana, I'll show you here on the settings screen, you'll find a section called shop floor app. If you don't have that option available yet, you need to make sure you're upgraded to the advanced plan and above. Um, or if you're on the uh, essentials plan, you can go here and go to your team section and choose add a team member and select the operator option. Now, what this will do is allow you to add a user into your account that has this operator status, an operator being a manufacturing floor team member. And this will give you the opportunity for them to log in and have a username on the application. Now, when, once you start using the shop floor application, you're really going to primarily be using a very basic workflow. I'm going to do high level right here, just as an introduction, whoever's managing your production queue will set the prioritization as required based on your material availability, deadline requirements, whatever it is that you need to do. Um, and also once this is set, then the tasks list will also be set based on the order of the operations within the order of the manufacturing orders. So in a short, in a short version of that, if you're looking at SO2 being the top um, manufacturing order, highest priority, then also any tasks that are assigned to SO2 that are found here within a resource will be also at the top of that particular resources task list. So for example, the paint booth, if it needs to work on any tasks, it'll work on SO2 first. So you go into the back end of your Katana account, you create your schedule, you assign your tasks from the tasks list, which is over here where you can actually select a drop down and choose the person who will be performing the operations. 
And then those individuals that are logged into their device will be able to see that particular task that they have to work on in the correct order in which they have to do it based on the schedule. And then they can start that process as they're using the app. Now, what's also quite useful and really nice about this is everything is in real time. So as your operators are performing their tasks, you're also going to see updates directly here on the task lists. This will also affect the um, general statuses of production for your manufacturing orders. You can even go inside of the manufacturing orders and see information about those tasks, like how long were they worked on or how much material was consumed from that particular process. So there are all of these things that the shop floor app enables you to do in real time, which also at the end of the day, as far as value is concerned, gives you the ability to better optimize your manufacturing, be able to link the efficiencies between your operators, your resources, the products you make, specific um, uh, consumption of materials on manufacturing orders, also the output of finished goods. So a lot of those things can all come together to help you save money, maximize your margin, and better have a hold on exactly how you work with your teammates while also maintaining a high degree of flexibility. So basically pays for itself many times over if you, and, and is a huge upgrade when it comes to tracking um, your ability with your manufacturing. Now, when we're talking about other functionalities that are available within the shop floor control, uh, the last set of videos we did was related to batch tracking. So batch tracking is also related to this. We all, it also supports barcodes. And when we get talk talk about barcodes, which will be in the next series, uh, there'll be a lot more information about how barcodes workflows are integrated, not just within Katana's main application, but also in the uh, floor application. So we'll focus on the main workflows through this video tutorial series, and hopefully you'll find this very valuable as we move along. Thank you and uh, enjoy the videos.